Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Garcia Aquatics, also known as Birdo. Hey guys, I want to say thank you for all the support and all the love. And if this is your first time showing up to the Garcia Aquatics, just don't forget to hit the like button, the share button, and the notification bell to be notified when another video is coming out or when I'm going to go live. And also, Go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. So how's everybody doing? MB Reeve. Yes, uh, I should have been here earlier, but I was just rearranging things. And as you can see, I'm working on this one now. Because remember, I was talking about that I was going to get this one done. So it's just gonna be some rock, uh, rock structures on here, and then I'm thinking about probably getting some a uh, little bit of Nubius, and probably throwing some uh, Amazon swords and stuff like that. Hey, bless you, how you doing? And I'm gonna get some swords and some uh, swords and Nubius. The big swords gonna be in the back, but you know sometimes when you get those big swords. When you get those big swords, they, they look all beautiful for the first time and everything. And then as time goes by, it goes down. But for now, I'm mean, still going to get the big swords and I'm going to get all the other stuff there. And, and I'm going to get some a little bit of Nubius. Then I'm going to get some uh, Plecos for the bottom. And some Corridoras for the bottom. And stay tuned. But you already know what's going in there. But this thing right here, this thing here is coming out because they they don't need that. I just have that um, <clears throat> wave maker there. Thought it was going to be good, but when I did my little research, they don't need it. And other than that, let me just throw a little funny thing here. Let me just throw this little funny thing here. <laughs> I just had to throw it in there. Hey! Let me do it like this. We got MB Reef. Welcome. Then we got Plushies. Welcome. Then we have HHD. I just throw it. Jake and Katie, how you guys are doing? And yes, guys, I even, I even said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash it. Bah, bah, bah. Smash it. So, yeah, basically what I've been, what I was doing today, I rearranged my little studio, living room, studio slash studio. I got a rack over here. Before, I was facing this way, so now... I have the tank behind me. Then I have the 150 and the other 150 and the 125. But I'm going to wait until my phone's a little charged up a little more. And, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a little, a little steep peek of what Garcia is going. And you have to understand, I was working on this all day so there might be a little mess here and there but i'm gonna try to do the best and and i just was wondering how everybody's doing and what you guys been up been up to and yes let's not forget even though it's let me see we're in uh april may june july august in four months August 17. August 17 is going to be that wonderful, wonderful fight. But if you cannot make it to the Fins and Furies, if you cannot make it, they're going to have the, uh, the pay-per-view and also and also 
there's going to be, you already know, it's going to be Joey and also Rob from Paratory Fins. And then there's going to be LRB. And there's going to be um, um, Boss Aquatics and other other YouTubers that, that's, that, that's going to be there. But you can go ahead and check in finsandfuries.com. And you can see who they got so far that's going to be boxing. You can see the the lineup, even though it's not in order, but you're going to see who's going to be there, who's going to be in the red corner, who's going to be in the blue corner. So, other than that, that's going to be August 17. And I would like for you guys to check that out. And don't forget to go ahead and uh, hit the they also even got a a, a a YouTube channel. They have the YouTube channel that is Fins and Fury. At Fins, at Fins and Fury, just the letter N. It's Fins, the letter N, Fury. Fins is the small letters, and then Fins is the small letters, capital N. And, and Fury, F U R Y is small. And don't forget to put the at in front of front of friends. And go ahead and subscribe to them because they've been talking a lot of stuff there. And who knows when they're going to be doing more stuff. And they might be putting more videos for that Friends and Furies. So go ahead and check them out. And guys, don't forget to check out also. All the other people that's that have their channels like HHD, don't forget about them. If you haven't subscribed to them, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. And also go ahead and check them out because they got some nice stuff going on in their videos and stuff like that. And check and also check out um Happy Place Aquatics. Aquarium Talk TV also. And Boss Aquatics. Everybody that has their channels, you should go ahead and check them out and make sure you subscribe to them. But sometimes you know, YouTube, I might take it away. Or well, I could be wrong, but is that you got to, when you watch one of their videos and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to them and make sure you just hit that like button and turn on that notification bell and leave a comment for you to stick. That's how you've been working for me lately. I could be wrong, but go ahead. It will be good. Go ahead and check that out. And do that. And there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on also coming. We got uh, the Keystone Clash that's going to be coming. We got also the uh, Aqua Shutter that's going to be coming. But that's woo, way in November or something like that. But there's a lot of stuff coming up, and I'll be happy if you guys show a lot of stuff that, if you do a little short videos and stuff like that, just to show people what you've been doing and how the stuff been working for you. It's good to share a little bit of your knowledge and showing people how it's been working for you. Because it might work for them. And they might, and if it's not working for them, or it, it does, and they could share a little bit of their knowledge and ask you guys questions to see if that works out for you or not. So it would be nice for you guys to check that out. Check out those channels and check out those newcomers and stuff like that. And don't forget about um, Pesotics website. Also check out Pesotics website because they're going to be, he may be putting some other products on sale that you can't probably you cannot find and he might have it. Or he could give you a better deal. Check his website out. If you're looking for those uh botanical botanical stuff, you could check that out on KJE website. And yes, I know 
I've only been here for like 12 minutes and stuff like that. But it is is what it is. But there might be other people that's live streaming or everybody's going to sleep early or they're watching uh, WrestleMania 40. But I'm not into that like, like I used to be. I'm mostly trying to get everything situated here with my tanks and my and all my stuff because I really, really love the hobby. And I got, I got uh, two more videos. And basically, I'm going to tell you what it is. A little, little, little piece of it. And it's going to be about the, the sea turtles. There's a, one place that we went to. They rescue them. And they show you. They tell you a little bit about how they what they do there and everything. And then I'm going to a, I went to another facility where they got the big turtles. Uh the sharks been eat, uh ate, ate one of their fins, all the boat accidents. And guys, please, if you love those sea turtles, you should pick up after yourself. Because if you don't pick up after yourself and you let those plastic bags go in the water. The sea turtles are going to think it's jellyfish, and that's their favorite food also. Anything plastic, even a pick up after yourself. We got to protect our turtles. They're going to be here longer than us. We just got to be more aware of what we're doing. You're on a boat. Make sure you got a, gar a garbage can. You can put your garbage in there and make sure it's closed. Let that thing won't fly right out when you start moving on your boats and stuff like that. Because uh, you don't want that in the water, and especially the plastic bags. And anything that's plastic, any garbage. Because it will hurt the fish and it will hurt the environment. We don't want that. We don't want that at all within it. Destroying our environment. We should, like, we care about our fish tanks, and we always make, maintaining the the water level, making sure the fishes are happy. They're not sick. But remember, they're in a the glass box. They don't got nowhere else to go. They're just stuck there. And always, please do your research. Do your research, because why are you gonna go ahead? And buy an Oscar, and you know it's gonna get big, and then you're gonna leave them in a five gallon or in a ten gallon. Please do your research. It doesn't cost anything to do a research. Look it up, and you can find out about your fish for the tank size and everything you need. Yes, tell me about it because it's a little overwhelming over here for me too. Because uh as a matter of fact, give me a second and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing today. And uh happy place, thank you for coming. If it's your own, thank you for coming. Just give me a second, let me see if I can just go ahead and show you a little bit of what I'm doing here. Give me a second.
All right. I'm a shit. 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 Okay. Give me a second. Let me go to the right way. Hold on. So 125 to right now the Fahaka Puffer. Then it goes back from Tulsa Tank. Then it goes back from Tulsa. And then we're over here. Then over here is my other 150 with the Oscars and the Florida go that he's hiding, hiding right up here. The three amigo. And then we got the little the little peacock. And then goes the other Oscar. And also my, like my little my little store. <laughs> all the all the food. The chemicals, and everybody else's food, and this, and this, two little tanks here. I got a better ending, and then I got the, the other betters here. And the reason why I got, I have so many in, in there. My cousin gave me, but see, he's a breeder. He's a breeder, and he breeds all those betters, and that's how he keeps it. And he told me I could put it together and stuff like that. And then later, I'm uh, I have to uh, sooner or later, gonna have to uh, start separating them because right now they just uh -oh, they're young right now, real small. But for the meantime, that's I have to do it that way. Okay, no problem. Loading uh, mobile cam one. Okay. Thank you. Happy place. And thank you, um, HD. Um, there's more stuff that I got to get more organized here. And there's more stuff coming out. Oh, I forgot to tell everybody. Right up here. That's from Silver Creeks Aquatics. I got that painting from him. And after I set up the tank and everything, I decided to put that uh, painting up there. And now we're like, wait a minute. Rocks. It rocks. <laughs> And thank you, um, Jimbo and H, um, Jake and Katie. It's just hard for me to uh, say Jake and Katie. I'm so used to calling you guys HHD, <laughs> double HD.
And and whoever wants to come up, like always, I always drop the link. And here's the link, whoever wants to come up. And, and guys, if you have any knowledge or anything that you want to share, go ahead and do so. Because that's, that's, that's what we're all here for. Even though it's your hobby, you do it your way. But there might be there might be some people that will will like some of the ideas that they could use it. That it's been working for you. And it's been working fine for me with no problems. And I know I should put more videos out and stuff like that. But I just want to make sure I got everything on point and perfect and stuff like that. Because I like to do my stuff with a lot of research and doing it very, very thorough. And and I love man, them things look bad as hell. <laughs> How bad do they look? They look that bad? Well, I've been doing the best I can, sir. So Thanks a lot, Jimbo. You made me lose my thought. Now I'm having a dead moment. Now I'm thinking what to say. Well, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I let you have everything with a lot of research, making sure everything is all done perfect. And and I know I should be doing videos explaining to everybody how to do the things. Yes, that wave, that wave maker is going to be removed. I said it earlier, and I even said it in your chat, and I asked you guys in the chat and in your live stream, Yes, that wave maker is coming out. And I'm thinking about probably putting some floating branches and some swords, some nubias for everything to be chilling. I just got to do more, more videos and do it more educational. And I'm thinking of a more going to going to different places. Even though some of my videos, I don't even hardly talk too much on the store tours. I just put the music. Because I want to show you guys, giving you that tour. Giving you that tour for you to enjoy. And and it got all dusty over here. Oh, I don't know why it got so dusty. Are you doing, George? <laughs> How you doing, Berto? Doing all right yourself. All right. Hey, I just say, oh, dusty and everything. It's not you. It's just because you live in Arizona and dry and dust. Oh, <laughs> trust me, I, I'm dusty. I'm old. I'm <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I don't care. <laughs> hey, at least I'm lucky to be alive this long. Yeah. And who told you I was going to be here that long? You know. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, no. I, I was, li I've been listening. I've just been doing shit around here the, in the fish room. Um, but, uh, Look, you don't necessarily have to do videos to explain stuff. Uh, I'm I'm the perfect example of that just do videos and share what you're doing. You don't you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to know everything there is to to know. Um, I've learned that a long time ago that people would just watch what, to see what you're doing, and if it's interesting, they'll stick around. If they're not, then they'll bounce. But you don't have to worry about trying to do a prof uh, species profile, any of that stuff. Just do, like, for example, all the stuff you were doing today with moving those tanks and all that stuff, you can record it that. And I guarantee you people to watch that. Uh, that's, that's I find it. some of that stuff more interesting than 
the the uh, species profiles and, and the top 10 this and the top 10 that, those are all stuff that there is a dime a dozen out there. And some people do it better than others, and everybody's got their own take on it. But the reality is they're all pretty much the same thing, though. You're going to get the same basic information. What they don't get is to see what's going on in your fish room because that's very unique. That's yours. That's just there's not another one like it. Uh, so sharing stuff like that, uh, you know, people will watch. People will watch. Uh, I am surprised of the stuff that they'll watch that I put out. Um you know, even like you were talking about doing like clips of your aquariums with some, you know, you don't want to speak or say something. You don't always have to say something. Uh, I don't say a lot of stuff because I don't know a lot of stuff. And <laughs> this is the last place where you want to be making mistakes and saying things that are incorrect because they're going to call you on it. Uh, so, right. but that doesn't mean but that I still can't just, share. Just, yeah, that like doesn't mean. The, the tours that, that I, like I do, I like go to the. To the turtle rescues and stuff like that. I just I just record and just put the parts that, that I spoke a little bit of it, and then I just put it. Then I just leave it with the music going right through. That's you could do I that, do. or you could do uh, B roll. That's what I've been doing. What you could uh, do is B rolls as you're walking through. You don't have to be speaking on camera at the minute, uh, because sometimes you you don't have your thoughts together, or you don't necessarily know what you want to say. So you can just film the stuff, bring it back. Use whatever editor you're using. And then once you're calm and relaxed and, and you've already gathered your thoughts, then you can talk over that video and explain what it is that people are watching. There's a lot of videos like that. Um, and that's a very valid form of doing content. See, that's the thing, though. There isn't a way to do things. What's really nice about this, it's whatever you want to do. Right. And uh, June... Nothing's wrong with the uh, the wave maker at all. It's that when I'm putting in here, they don't need a wave maker at all. And I'm gonna tell everybody what I'm putting here. I'm grabbing lay shimmy shimmy's fancy guppies that is all mixed. And since this is a 65 gallon, everything's all all of them, the youngest to the oldest. The whole family is going in here, and it's going to be all mixed. And they've been mixed, and then they've been crossbred, and it looks so beautiful with those colors on those on those guppies. I got yeah. the koi's, I got the the blue mascals, I got the half blacks, and just the regular other ones. It's real nice. And Paul McCarthy, thank you for coming. How you doing? It's been a while. So yeah, but you, I don't see what's what's the problem with the wave maker. Uh, this wave maker is, is like for these big guys over here for the big guys. Because you could I always don't... you could always angle it up, so you get the surface agitation. Now, what that's going to do is it'll allow for that gas exchange that you need in there, especially in the warmer days. I don't know. Well, you you run your AC in your house, so you don't have that issue. Yeah. So never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but the other thing is, uh, if you get uh, duckweed, it'll get rid of it because duckweed does not like water agitation at the surface. It doesn't get, like having water splashed on it. So if you don't want to deal with duckweed, leave that in there. Just point it up because you got the rest of that area where the fish will swim and it's not going to bother them. And um, and that way you never have the problem that I have where you can't see it. But uh, I've got duckweed in all the tanks because I don't have that, that um, water agitation. Now, some people like it, some people don't. I used to not have a problem with it when I had the goldfish because that's what I would feed them. But now that I don't have them, now I got to find a way to get rid of it because I, I scoop uh, it up by the uh, by the bucket. Hold pool. on, one, hold on one second. My 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 son is coming up. My son, my son, my son, all the way from Canada. Oh, nice okay. <laughs> How you doing, son? <laughs> I heard, I heard you were live. I'm live on Twitch, <laughs> escaping my tank, and Jim was gonna leave me. I'm like, let's go troll him. And Jim's like, listen, I gotta go support my homie. I was like, well, let's go troll him and let's. Can we join both? He's like, I don't know. I was like, I'm gonna go find out. So you're, so I'm live you're... on both right now. <laughs> so you can join both too, Garcia. Come, come join mine, and I'll join yours. Uh, I'm not too good. It's too much. Too much. I gotta get better at this. I gotta get better at this. 
or not, well, I'll or be back. Your, I'll be back. I'll be back. You're on your right. laptop, right, Garcia? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get. I'm gonna invest in another. I'll go get myself another. I'll put a TV on this wall right here. If I could just be able to well, you don't need to do that because the reason I'm asking if you're on your laptop, if you look at your upper left hand corner, there's a little tab right where it'll allow you to open another page. Now, the thing is, do you have a Twitch account? Yeah, but I, I think I forgot the password already. Okay. So well, that, that's going probably. to be the biggest problem is, is knowing if um, your account information so you can log in. And then what will happen is it'll have both cameras. And it's kind of like what StreamYard does. Oh, wait. But you do have. Oh, no. But that's if you wanted to stream. Yeah, because you got to join his. Yeah. Um, J-Rock, thank you for coming. Red Laser, thank you for coming. Uh, Mr. Kazuma, thank you for coming. Thank you for the support. And let me see. There's uh, Laura. Yep. All all his uh all his trolls are coming in. All his trolls. No, oh, okay. And here's, and, and, and here's and here's uh the other, the king of all the trolls. <laughs> Look, man, the I'm gonna put it, hold on. Let me get something out. So this is how I figured this out. You have been on my live streams. Joey is an important figure, but you have been on my live stream. I'm on yours. That's how it pops. That's what you do for friends. <laughs> Join the support and all the love. That's right. That's why I'm here. That's why I was in the comment section. I was telling people to like, subscribe, all that shit. Excuse my yeah. French. Hey, Laura, you dropped an F bomb on mine earlier, so it don't matter. Laura, I guess I must have been asleep when you guys when you were going, Jim. Uh six o'clock, baby, every Sunday. Oh yeah. No, I was I I got up around six forty five. So, but yeah, we uh, are. Thank you for coming. Latoya. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Oh, I missed that auction. You gotta be kidding me. You don't need you don't need to watch the more auction. You got enough fish in your in your fish room. Well, you there was such thing fish. as enough. It's like saying you got too many cars or too hey, many. Man, tools. What you car pictures? That's nice. That, where was that car show at? Uh it's at the uh IX Center. The, it's called the Exposition Center or some stuff. Mm. I gotta watch my mouth from the other place I was allowed to uh to, to, to have free it, speech. It doesn't matter. He's not. What are you going to lose out of? You don't. You're not monetized yet, so it doesn't matter. Even I'm if you were worried. monetized, as long as you don't say it within the first like six seconds, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to be respectful to Birdo, and if there is any youngins in the crowd, youngins, do you see our age? We don't. We don't. That's the wrong demographics, there, buddy. <laughs> I, I understand, but I'm just trying. I'm trying, sir. <laughs> I got to put on my customer service face and voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, hi, thank you. Thank you for shopping at Happy Place Aquatics. What can I do for you today? It's not like, hey, what the, hey, what the bleep do you want? <laughs> by the way, by that picture that you sent me of that car, was that a Ford Pinto or a Chevette? That was a Ford Pinto. That's why I sent it to you. <laughs> he sent me that picture of that Ford Pinto. I was like, oh, no. And that has to be the baddest Pinto I've ever seen. And especially black color and the way they had it. Man, the it uh that, clean. Bro, you should see Super the impala. Berto, you should I'm gonna send you the impala. But that the whole bottom of that four pencil, George, it was spotless. Clean. Yeah. He, I, I sent them to him. They, oh, okay. They chrome the bottom. They're they're the this is the thing though, those vehicles are not ever gonna be driven. Oh no, they're, those are trailer they're trailer queens. queens. Yeah. They're just going to put them in a trailer, take them where they're going. I'm not a fan of that. I, I like to smash like the, to the pedal. Car. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, to each their own. It's like fish keeping. <laughs> they, I'm gonna send you a they just crank it a little once and just to, for the. Well, no, no. Yeah, they'll, well, don't get me wrong. They it. have to turn the engines over and all that stuff. And they do drive them into the trailer, but they're never going to see a mile of asphalt. And if they do. They're going to see 11 and a half hours of cleaning underneath. Mm. Yeah. You should have got them. I just sent them to you. It may take a minute. I am hey, in the dungeon down here. In that um, in that guppy tank that you have there behind you, Berto. Yeah. What are you going to put in there as far as plants? I'm going to put swords, 
and some uh, uh, Nubius. Get some jungle vial. I was gonna. <laughs> Jim knows exactly where I'm going with it. Jungle vial make... is perfect because you have a real tall aquarium. And uh, yeah, he, uh, the... wow, what a paddle. brother! That is the prettiest blue I have ever seen. Do you hey, have guys, a? Check that, that out, guys. King King. Yeah. See, I, I don't mind those 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 um, setups because they actually have real wheels on them. I can't stand the 13 inch Dayton's. I just think it looks so so out of place. But I know it's a it's a thing, but it's not my thing. <laughs> hey man, did you see that dude bought Easy E's in power? No. Oh man, some dude out in uh, I think he's in Arizona. He bought Easy E six four, dude. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Raul, buddy, mi hermano. Hey, Raul. I, I still want to be like you. I want to be like you. Hi, well, Raul. You, you'd have to lose like 10 years on you, buddy. For what? To be like Raul. Raul, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, you'd have to get much, much better looking, which I don't think either of those two things are going to happen. So, Garcia, <laughs> I'm doing something tomorrow. Picking up more fish and more. No, dog. he's buying a car. <laughs> I'm getting another dog. Oh. Yeah, doggy. Yeah. Give me a second. Right. I'll show him to you. Where are you at? His name is Tony. I got to find him. Give me a second. Hey, Berto, on that um aquarium, you're going to put those swords in. Are you using active stuff straight in the bottom, or what do you, well, how are you going to get those swords fed? Um, I got the other substrate. For the for the plants, that it's gonna be all in the back, and you won't hardly see it. I'm gonna spread it in the back. Oh, okay. You're gonna lay it on top of what's already there. Yeah. Or I could just move it. I'm gonna move I it. Would, yeah, forward. I would say move it and cap I'll, it I'll with the forward, sand, and then just push the sand right to cover mm -hmm. it up. Yeah, you could do that. Or if yeah. you don't want to go through that trouble, the reason I was asking is get just get some root tabs. I could do that too. And that'll oh, be a lot that? easier. I root would tabs. recommend. Yeah, root tabs work. Yeah, what I would recommend, Berto, though, is add a lot more sand to the back. So you so you raise that that elevation. Get you all. Oh, you got some. Okay, eco complete. Yep. Now, are you going to put any? Any um, any quarries in there or anything like that? I'm gonna put some quarries and I'm gonna put uh, some plecos, bristlenose plecos. Okay, because uh, with the eco complete, just it's a little bit sharper. Just be careful if you do that, um, that you cap it. Make sure you put that sand on top so their barbels don't get damaged. Yeah. Or otherwise, it'll it could cut them. I, some people say it does. Some people say it doesn't. I don't know. I don't use eco complete. But um, I, did that, I did that to my my other 125. I, I put like three or four bags of that in my other 125, my community one, and then I put some regular sand just to cover it up. But there was some spots that I didn't have enough sand to put on, and they were all over. Wait, the wait, 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 wait! Aren't you near the beach? Yeah. What do you mean? There's not enough sand. There's fucking free sand. Sorry. They're fucking free sand. You, the, the one thing they should not be short of is sand. <laughs> I just don't want to put those, those dirty sand from the beach. It's not. What do you think? Sand is clean where you get it from the store. <laughs> si, senor. Si, senor. <laughs> Actually, you're. Oh, wow. Oh. Hold on, hold on. What is it, a bull mastiff? No, he is a Australian shepherd mix. With mm. what, terrier? I don't know. All I know is he is adorable. Oh, yeah. He's Brindle. So I'm thinking Australian shepherd pit bull, Brindle pit yeah. bull mix is what I'm yeah. thinking. That's going to be a good looking dog when he gets bigger. My dog is lonely, man. She had a friend for six years. 
He blew both of his back knees out. They wanted $16,000 dude, to fix his knees with no guarantee that it would fix it. The hardest day I had was taking a healthy dog. I mean, he was completely 100% healthy other than his knees. I walked in there with him and I, I walked out carrying his big ass out. You know, he was strong as an ox. He was a great dog. He listened well. I mean, he never tore my house up. But then all of a sudden my dog, now the dog I have, she's, she's lonely. You know, she's got two humans. I mean, I'm, I'm gone 10 hours a day. She's got yeah. my wife, but my wife has things to do during the day. Then when I'm home, she's attached to my hip. But I mean, I'm only home four, maybe five hours a day, like physically. And then I'm in bed, you know, so she needs a friend. Yeah. It's going to be a long night for me. Why is that? Oh, you just put him down today? No, no, no. I put him down last February, man. Oh, okay. I mean, I got a picture of him too. Give me a second. I'll show him. He was, dude, he was an awesome dog. Like he was, like when I say an awesome dog, he was an awesome dog. Maybe if I can find the pictures. Oh, hold on. Any chance, George? There we go. Oh, okay. Brendel Pit Bull, 90 pounds. And then this is my other one. <laughs> that's She's, 90, she's, she's 95. She's 12, going on 12. She, that's the one that's uh, lonely. Yeah, she's lonely. And we can tell whose dog she is by this picture right here. Nah. <laughs> Man, I messed up. Hey, Ian. Thank you for coming, Ian. And that was her yeah. when I got her. Oh, look at that. Dude, oh, she was wow. like, she was five weeks old. Her eyes were barely open. The people that had her put her in a plastic bag and chucked her over my dude's fence and said, come get your dog. She's afraid. I mean, a 95-pound pit bull shivers when you pull out a trash bag. Oh. I hate people when they do that. Yeah, so I apologize for the uh the delay in me getting here, Birdo, but Hey, you don't have to apologize. That when that was when that's at, even that's, though I should have been here at eight o'clock and I did not come at eight o'clock because I was trying to get everything situated. <laughs> it's not going to last very long by the sounds of it either. What's up, Red Laser? Thank you for being on my live earlier today, even though Mexicali couldn't make it because he was sleeping. I don't know, man. I got to go to work right now. I know. <laughs> well, you know, what it was is uh, I came home, slept for like three hours, and then I got up because I had the live stream earlier today with um, hey, Ross, Christine from uh, from uh, uh, sweet acre co uh, koi farms, and uh, that was pretty cool. I had, I got to learn a lot more about koi. Dude, I love koi fish, but I don't have a pond big enough for them. Yeah, you and I both. So, I got a question for you. I see you have a lot of tanks there. How many tanks do you have, George? I don't know, like 30, 32, I think. What's your biggest one right now? The 150 behind me, that one. But it's a it's a tall. It's not a one fifty regular. Acrylic or glass? Acrylic. Okay, so I have a bunch of twenties and twenty nines, and stuff like that. Do you think it would be a good idea to downsize the amount of tanks into small or larger tanks? If you got the room, why not? Is this, you see what it's really going to boil down to. What do you like to keep? Well, right at the moment, I have a ten foot rack that I built for the tanks that's on them. Like, literally, if you watched a couple of my videos from a while back, there's a brand new 10 foot rack that I built. Yeah. It's housing, it's got eight tanks on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but what I'm getting at, what are you, well, look, it depends because if you want to use Severums to a Jaguar. Yeah. If you want to use them as grow ups, then hang on to them. Why would you want to? Because it'll just make you keep it easier to keep track of the, of the fry as they grow out and turn into a size where you can eventually move them into whatever they're permanent home's going to be 
if you ever run into a pinch where you need to medicate, you know, 20 long, 20 tall is going to work for even some of the bigger species because you're just trying to medicate them. So I got to find somebody to come get this 20 long. I got this thing. It, 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 no, it's got to go. Why? Everything I've ever put in it has died. Oh, okay. You think it's jinxed? <laughs> I, I 110% think it's jinxed. I was thinking that about this 75 right here at first because ding, I lost. Ding, ding, I lost ding. 21. I told you, but no. I got I lost fish to come. 20, oh, I lost 21 juvenile um, electric blue Acara fry. I lost a uh, breeding pair. That's got nothing to do two, with. Uh, uh, two plecos in this thing all at one time. Yeah, no. Well, I'll probably tell you what it was. The electric blue uh, Jack Dempsey's. No, electric or, blue Acara. Oh, okay. Acara. Oh, never mind then. I lost her fry. I lost the parents. I lost two clown plecos and a tank that was thriving. Like I took all the fish out of it and I shit you not. I put two gallons of bleach in it and I let it run for five days. No. Oh. And then I cleaned the whole tank out, let it dry out. I redid the substrate, filled it back up and slapped my Oscar in it. And here make we are. It a, you know what you can do is make it a little plant grow out. Don't put anything in it. Just, you know, that. put substrate and some trimmings and uh, sell plants I can or use plants for your other aquariums. I could do that. And you can put it under a, an, uh, one of the racks where it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Just put a little light on top of it. Or as long as it gets enough ambient light, you'll be fine. Oh, I had these guys asking me what I was feeding my uh, walroo. See, I, I got a hodgepodge of fish. I mean, I've got everything from neon tetras, bettas on that rack. I've got uh, Corydora, mm -hmm. uh, red shoulder severums. So why are you wanting to change it? What's what, you, you want a bigger tank? Is that what it is? I'm running out of room. Well, yeah, everybody does. And I still have, I have two more 75 gallon tanks that I got to put up. I've got a 44 corner tank right here. Dude, I've got... A uh, 50 low boy, a 120, a 300, uh, three tens that are just kind of sitting because I don't have enough room to. I don't. I haven't built any racks for them. Hey so man, if I get my van now, can I come get that 300? Yeah. <laughs> You're in where Arizona? Yeah. It, it take me a week to get there, but I'll be there. No problem. I'll help you load it. <laughs> um, if you have discus, or do you ever plan on getting walru or discus, either one? That right there is the shit, my friend. Oh, okay. I had discus, but I something happened. Um, I mean, look they at quit the eating on me. Yeah, they quit eating on me, and they just started Ooh. getting thin, thin, and they wasted away. Oh, I dropped some on my keyboard. No, Does it smell better. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's garlic. Believe it or not. Oh, okay. It's got. Uh, let me read it just off. To eat you. it. Eat it. It's got brine shrimp, garlic. Hey, do. Parsley, zucchini, broccoli, oh, some okay. kind of algae I can't pronounce, sper spirulina. Yeah, spirulina. Vitamin A, vitamin D. Got all kinds of stuff in there. I just, this shit's expensive too. There we go. Landed on the keyboard. Works even better. But <laughs> they they love it. I've been feeding my electric blue Acara fry this too. I've been crushing it up real fine. Yeah. And I've noticed the difference in the size they've started doing. So, and that's the bad part about having a friend that owns a fish store too, man. I get so many things that I didn't pay for, you know, like fish. I go to it. He told me to come pick up fish that I ordered that I didn't order. <laughs> Literally came home with 35 fish that I did not order. Well, actually 45 that I didn't order. I don't know if I want to eat that. I'm not even going to lie. No. I, I, no need to. Yeah, Ross, Ross is crazy. He's got like 40 some. Yeah. And, and he lives in an apartment. That's the crazy part. So his whole ah. house has got aquariums everywhere, but he's got some really nice fish. He's, I like what he's doing because he keeps a lot of the smaller fish, like what I like, a lot of the tetras, barbs, stuff like that. Um, So, you know, it's just, I, I really enjoy what he's doing. He, but he's breeding for profit. He's trying to, He's trying to learn how to read most of this stuff because I think eventually he wants to open up his own own little shop. As a matter of fact, he should pop on with us. 
and show us what he's got. I've got 57 on, takes. Ross. Hey, Ross, there's a link if you want to come on. Come on. Come on, Ross. Here's the link. Yeah, he did his first live stream. Um, I don't. I lose track because I'm working. I don't know if it was a couple days ago or yesterday. Um, but um, he he went around showing a lot of his uh his setups. I had to stop at forty. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm. Like I said, I have all those laying on the ground because I don't know if I can keep more. Uh, problem is you have tanks that are up and running. You always want to put something in them. You can't leave them alone. At least that's my case. And, you know, I, oh, I'm an Oscar guy. And I know at some point in time I'm going to find another Oscar. But I don't well, then have that, for it. That's why you want the bigger aquariums. That's what I was asking you earlier. That was, that was my initial question to you is it what do you really like to keep? Because that's really going to determine the type of aquariums you're going to want. I am a South American cyclic guy. Hmm? Well, then but, you want big tanks. But I have African cichlids as well. I've got a 125 that was full of Africans. It's not anymore. I've got a 90 full of African cichlids. And I've got a 32-gallon boat front right now that I'm growing African cichlids out in. And then I have a 10-gallon over here that I fry in. I have a lot of African cichlids. But then also, on the other hand, I have about 300 electric blue Acara fry. So, I mean, I have... Time, time to start developing some friendships with the local fish store so you can offload some of that stuff. I, <laughs> Brother, trust me, I can take fish there all day long. He'll take them. I'll trade them in for, you know, goods. I don't even want money for them. I'll trade yeah. it for food and things of that nature. The dude, I work on the dude's cars. That's, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, no, I, I recently was able to establish a relationship like that where now I can take, he, of all things, he came down to help me set up that aquarium at the Children's Museum. And I, that was the first time he'd been in my fish room. And uh, he saw this aquarium down here that I've put up a couple of times where it's just nothing but guppies in there. You know, all kinds of different sort of kind of like what you're trying to do, Berto. And uh, he goes, dude, he goes, I need fancy guppies. So I took a whole I almost emptied the entire thing and um, and took them up there. And I got, you know, I traded it out for some some stuff that I needed for the Children's Museum. So it's nice when you can establish a relationship with the with a local fish store because then you got that give and take and then he gave me some um so a straight line of um japanese blue leer tail guppies so i told him ah, i'll take them in anything that i breed out of that you know any excess i'll bring it up here and you know trade it in for something else i it just, just gives me I we, should, we should help out we should help out um ross baltimore we should help him out he only has 68 subscribers. Come on. Let's help out Ross. That's it. Hey, I'm coming, Ross. He That's it. Ross. I thought I thought he had picked up a little bit more. Uh oh, has 68. I that means he didn't get anybody from the time he was on my channel then. That's sad. <laughs> we we gotta help him out, guys. Come on. If you haven't subscribed to him, go ahead. Go ahead and do so. The link is right there in the chat. Go ahead and subscribe to him. Oh, there you go. Diego Diego put up his link. Yeah, let's help him out and then just bring him in, man. Let's let's help him out and let's get him up there. And Ross. Don't hesitate. The link is in the chat. Come on. No, up. he said he's coming up. He's just got a couple oh. of things he's got to finish up. Okay, no problem, no problem. Sorry for me, Russian. I'm not Russian. <laughs> Why can't I find him? Uh, because he's at uh, uh, Aquatica he eighty seven, uh, Heaven or something like that. I got you. You got a new sub. I know oh, okay. Lady, I know Lady Shimmy Shimmy's not gonna be happy with me. Why is Lady Shimmy Shimmy gonna be mad at you? Because now I feel like building another. Uh, I'm going to stand for a 125, but put, put it a little lower. If I could put the TV against the wall. So I already went and bought the wood to build another stand for the 275s I got. I've already got the platform for it. I just got to build it, and I'm fucking lazy. Excuse my French again. But 
I got to find a place to put it. And if I put it right here, it's going to mess me up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to be like this live screaming. I mean, I could guess I could put it in front of my uh, my 125 South American tank. But then again, it's going to block me. It's going to block things. You're going to start having to double stack those big aquariums. Uh, I think my 125s are going to get a double stand. Yeah, you're going to have to do that. A whole lot of real estate. And then I'm going to have the 275 stacked on top of each other. Like I have here, but in a different stand. I might go buy another one of these stands. Well, here's the other All thing, right, though. guys. Here we go. You don't... Here we go. Here we go. The guys that we've been waiting for. Here he is. The one and only Mr. Ross Baltimore. What up, hey, fam? Ross. Let me, uh. What's going on, brother? Ain't nothing. Is it full screen? Yeah, there you go. It was. Then it... there you now go. It's full there screen. There you go. Gotta use my phone script, my phone stand. Oh shit. Let me go grab my charger. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing a live stream yesterday and my phone cut off. So how you been, man? I'm good. Just got finished watching that WrestleMania. Don't tell me nothing, please. Don't tell me nothing. I haven't watched it. Oh. Don't tell me nothing. Okay. <laughs> That means that means that it Roman Reigns is, <laughs> Roman Reigns is still holding the title. Nope. I don't want to hear it. Don't tell me nothing. I left off at the AJ Styles LA night match. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I hate Cody Rhodes. <laughs> uh, yes! He got the belt! Yes, Cody Rhodes got the belt. Nah, come on, man. You think they're gonna take the belt off of Roman that easy? <laughs> well, you know he uh he the tribal queef. He announced his retirement because of uh, the leukemia popping back up again. Oh, really? Yeah, you can tell. You can see his uh face getting skinnier. He's getting thin again. He's probably going through that uh um, that chemo again. Chemo. He should retire, though, man. Leukemia is nothing to mess with, man. I lost my best friend to leukemia when he was 18. Damn. It's crazy. 18. Died holding my hand on Christmas Eve. Sheesh. And now every uh, his birthday was the 4th of July, believe it or not, and I blow some shit up on the 4th of July for him. <laughs> there I go with the potty mouth again. I'm sorry, Birdo. Oh, my God. Dude, you shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Once again, where I just came from, you were there the other night. You know how that goes down. Oh, yeah. Completely different. That, that's a different live stream. There you go. Oh, that's nice right there. What we got? Make that big, Garcia. We got some Tetris, right? Yep. Yeah, those are... Uh, Serpe? No. no. Those are the Hafesa Brycon Wide Eye, the Blueberry Tetris. Okay. Those are pretty. I got six of them when I first got them. Now I, I've been breeding them. Oh, so you cracked the code, huh? And now you got like 600 of them. Uh, it's about 30 of them, 40 of them. They're pretty. They're, yeah, cool they're nice. The, these are one of the newer uh, Tetris to come out of Brazil. Are or, you having to play with the water parameters to get them to spawn or not? Um, with these guys, they aren't that fussy with the okay. parameters. My my TDS comes out at about uh, 300 to 350, so it's, it's decently alkaline. And I uh, I probably add like a quarter of tap water, and then like 75 percent RO water mixed with some uh, tannins from some leaves, and they just go crazy. So I get the TDS around, probably around 100. I have in that tank with them, what you can see in the caves right now, those are the L181, the peppermint bristle nose, like those. Peppermint bristle nose. Yeah, these, I mean, I feel like they should be common bristle nose by now. People should be getting them. I mean, they are a little trickier to breed. They and they don't uh, breed as they don't have as many eggs on their clutches like a 
super red or something like that. So I would say that, uh, I mean, at about an inch to two inches, 20 bucks a fish, that's pretty good. That's decent. People I, still, uh, people still I, want 30 to 40 for them right now. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Yeah. Hey, right now you, you're sitting at 75. Thank you. Thank you. See, you know, I had 68 yesterday, and then I woke up this morning. I went back down to 66. It happens, man. It happens to me every day. I go to, I got like 437 one minute, and I got like 433. I just said I'm not going to look no more. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just need to step away. You have to, but sometimes it just, it just calls you. That, uh, that nice ceremony uh, video I put out didn't get very good reviews there, Gar uh, Garcia. No. No. But the one before, the truth about the uh, the hobby no one wants to share, that one did great. Yeah, that sounds like a popping uh, title. Well, you know, you always hear about the good. Nobody ever shares the bad. Oh, look how beautiful that angel That's is. That's a good-looking right? angel. That's a beautiful angel. He know he look good, too. Oh, yeah, he's showing yeah, off. He, he had to show his colors. Like, hey, 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 check me out. I'm right so here. Check this out. Was that a platinum angel? Yeah, the platinum pearl scale. His girl, man, I had him with a, uh, I had bred him. I had got him from a batch that was made by a double dog Bulgarian, Bulgarian seal point and a, yeah, another platinum pearl scale and i got these dark these really dark green panoy angels that when they were about quarter size their full body was green like just like a really dark green i have some in the other room that i had on the live stream yesterday but um man uh she grew up and the green kind of went away you could only really see it at the top of the body like at the top of the cap of the head but she was gorgeous and then one morning I, I looked in my tank and i just didn't see her in there and i was like what the hell is going on and she just i don't know she must have just launched out of the tank or something but oh, well. she was behind the tank and she was pretty big too uh, first time i had an angel fish jump out of the tank no, that's a beautiful angel he just looks too nice it's not very it's not easy to find a perfect one. I had a, um, I've got a hybrid uh, cichlids. They're supposed to be star sapphire and some some kind of embuna uh, hybrid. I had one launch itself out of the tank, man. It shot, like, I'm going to say probably 15 feet away from the tank. I mean, that thing come out with some force. It smacked a lamp that I had sitting on a table next to it and landed on the table. I'm like, man, I gotta, I'm running over there to grab this fish. I thought for sure it was dead. I put it back in the water. It just swam away like nothing ever happened. But I did have two electric blue Akara jump out of the tank, and I didn't find them. And that time, that time I had cats, and my cats didn't even eat them. Yeah, <laughs> my cats do a good job. They actually saved a few, few uh, saved a few fish by getting my attention. Oh wow! Because I I've always just had them around the tank since they were tiny, and when they want to jump in the tank, I let them jump in, and they learn a lesson. Like, oh, I don't want to be in that. So. They actually like think that fish are their friends. They love watching the fish. Now birds, different story. Yeah, I I don't even have my cats anymore. It's sad. I miss them. New Uncle Austin, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Welcome. Um, Atkins, I've never heard of it myself, but I have them, and that's what they're supposed to be, according to the guy that gave them to me. I do know that a happen and embona can mix. So can it happen a peacock, and so can an embona and a peacock. Yep, and then they can mix with a hat. Correct. You'll have all kinds of different fish. It's weird. Oh yeah. Well, that's, um, they they mix the peacock with the uh, embona to make the dragon blood, and then from there you got all these uh, obs. 
that uh, now you've got your empress that are mixed with the OB genes. Uh, you got OB dolphins. Yeah, yep. I got a guy that's selling OB dolphins around me for a ridiculous amount of money. Well, some of them are really nice. I saw some some ones that were like fully pink. They look, these ones look like they're uh, they like blueberry OBs. They're beautiful. They're blue, but they're just I mean they're wild looking. Have you seen any white white uh, dolphins? Oh, the white ones. Yeah, those are nice. There's a guy down here in Florida that. That he been breeding it, but he never wants to sell them. Man, I think you got more tanks than I do. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> Those are pretty. I'm surprised, uh, Ross. You haven't figured out a way how to put um, tanks under your your bed. <laughs> if I, I got a German Strand Z Rock. Watch out, Billy. Oh, nice tail. Let me see Donald. the cat, man. Bella, watch out. The cat wants to be on on camera. Billy. Oh. Hey, Billy. Billy. That's a pretty cat. Say thank you. Mine move. were uh, move, man. move, move. Mine were tuxedos, black and white. That male, that orange male right there. When he's fired up, his face gets red. Oh my goodness. It's like a fireball. Can't so wait to get two? more fry from him. So you got two males in there? And the rest is all female, right? Yep. Well, that small one right there that's a little colorful, that might be a hidden male. I need to get him up out of here. But he keeps the uh the other one colored up. That's my star stud right there. I'm gonna get that uh that fry right out of here though. I just wanted to put one in here and see how they would grow up together. And they don't really mess with each other too much. Male from female. Typically the males are the bright colored ones, and the females are usually dull and gray. Yeah, I have some females though that are really nice. Oh, I've absolutely. Working, I've been working on, on some of these for a minute. I just sold like, I've been trying to get some off. I just sold like a whole fifty-five gallon, or like maybe a hundred of them for a hundred dollars. And I have some really nice strain going on. I would have so, bought all of them for a hundred bucks. <laughs> they got freaking platinum jeans, all different type of stuff. This. This is their dad right here. Oh, look at him. Oh, wow. That's a stud right there. Oh, yeah. That's Frieza. And then this is the, the next one up. Absolutely. That's Two-Face right there. I, I got a Two-Face. Look, the other side doesn't have blue. <laughs> I've got a... um. Oh, what the hell is it? Thank you for coming. Sorry for... I looks like a totally different fish when you don't see the blue on that side. Correct. I've got a uh, a white labdachromus that's got a half black face. This red boy came from him. No shit. Look at that. All right. I don't. I don't want any more South Americans. It's time to go strictly African again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got I got three colors that I'm working on. It's all. Is that a yo-yo uh, loach? Yeah, yeah, that thunker's that huge. Thing is monster. I thought I've I had, had the biggest I've had one. him for about six years. Wow, that's a that's a big boy. And I had him like with my community tank, with my angels and everything for a while in the forty breeder. But he, when he was small, like when he was about two inches, and he was just and he wasn't like mean or anything or beating on him, but he was just always messing with him, like just always sniffing around just always near him just messing with him and i was like you know what let me see i put him in a tank full with imbuna this tank used to be filled with uh red zebras because i used to breed red zebras and uh he was doing fine in that tank he's been in every african tank i have all of the mean africans the eroticas and he's been through it all so 
his name is Parappa. If you uh, are a gamer, you remember the '90s of uh, a video game on Sega Genesis called, or is it? But yeah, it was a Sega or the PlayStation when it first came out. It was called Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, that's you're twenty-two. Not, not my thing. You're twenty-two away from your one hundred. Thank you, guys. Man, come he is. Guys, come uh, on, guys. We gotta get. Like we should get. We should get, him, these guys in it. We should get I, him to the one hundred. I like the game. Like. Would you say? I'll tell you what, Ross. You keep you keep showing off your text like that, and you will get there real quick. Absolutely. <laughs> He's especially beautiful. doing a lot of shorts. Doing a lot of shorts. Doing a lot of shorts. You'll be good with that too. Absolutely. They're gonna they're gonna love them African cichlids, man. I've been pumping the shorts out. Really, I've just been because uh, I feel like my IG page don't be getting no traction. So I just take all of the videos I've been posting for years and I just put them on YouTube. Hmm. Should be a tabby, isn't it? Yeah, she's a tabby. But where's my Sasha at? Sasha, she's my special baby. Man, I had a Siamese and Lynx uh, mixed cat. Beautiful cat. Oh, yeah, that sounds beautiful. Uh-oh. Angels. Yeah. Oh, let me show you that, parents. Hold on. I'm telling you, you guys, I've I've been fortunate enough to see this before. <laughs> Thank you for coming, in, uh, Diego. Thank you for helping out. Thank, Thank you. you for coming, Diego. Chill out, y'all. All right, I want those angels. Hey, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I'm gonna I'm gonna step down to the check because I gotta start getting ready for work. Oh, um, that's right. You gotta work like a normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> Surf City but, uh, but I'll be in the chat. I'll be hanging out. I'm not. You know, I'll be I'll be around listening. You guys take care. Thank you, Berto, it's for well. letting me up. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Later, guys. Later. Later. Them angels are amazing. Beautiful angels. Absolutely. Called the the orange marbles, red red orange marbles. I like to just call them red dragon, uh, red dragon angels because they look like dragons. I had red dragon angels. I lost all of them. Ooh. Um. You cut the sleeves off. Hey Ross, um, Julie, yeah. I'm only asking. She goes, I want some of your fish. I'm sorry, what tribe are you from? What you say? They, um, June from Only Oscars, and she wants to get some fish from you. Well, last time it wouldn't let me. Uh, wouldn't let me put any of my information in the chat without it getting deleted. So. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go ahead and, and put you as a mod. Let's see if I ran my computer real quick. You watching it? Damn. Oh, does this die? What die? I don't see anything dead. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm trying, to turn on my, I'm trying to turn on my computer so I can get on YouTube and get in the chat. Hey, uh, do you know if a, somebody I, named I, I Zen put you in the fish fam link? Zen in the fish fam link? You yeah. know if they put you on Fish Fam Link yet? Yeah, I'm in there. That's how I found this uh live stream. Okay. Uh we usually you got back to back live streams on Sunday. You got me at six and then you got Birdo at eight. That's usually how we roll. Yeah, but me instead of me being here at eight, I came on ten because I was working in, in my living room with all these tanks. And I had somebody else call upon me to do something, so I was there. Man, Birdo. Yeah, you got to get that wave maker out of that tank. I am, and it's and it's unplugged. Oh, okay. 
okay. something get caught up in your wave maker, like a bristle nose or something. It's guppy grass yeah. getting caught up in it. Hey, uh, it was funny. It, it was, was fucking funny. hilarious. You see that? You see like a ball just going and going and going, and it went right into the wave maker, and and, and it's it got shredded. You got shredded completely. And guess what? Now, backstage. And, now, not only that is uh, talking about backstage. Um, now, now the 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 out the intake, uh -huh. the handbag, all the guppy grass is on there right now. <laughs> let me bring you... my son. Let me let me bring my son because he got cold over here. Oh, he's just sending all that cold over here. I don't want that cold over here, but I'm gonna bring him up anyway. Hello, I have uh... hi, beautiful. <laughs> How does this work? How does all this <laughs> stuff work? We don't know how it works, Joey. <laughs> oh, snap. So what's going on, big Joe? I had to, uh, I'm doing my own thing, and then I had to come over here. I tried to come over here earlier and run two of them, but I couldn't do it. Um, I was like, I can't let Garcia go through another chat without his biological son. Uh, That's right. <laughs> you can call me also. Which I don't know is yes, he is my real father. And you can call me Uncle Jim. I can't hear fucking anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Hey Bunny Viper, welcome, welcome, Bunny Viper. And yes, uh Joey, this is our uh, um uh, Ross. He has a whole bunch of beautiful angels and African cichlids. And we've been trying to help him out because uh, he only had here. about he only had about. I gotta figure some stuff out because I swear I don't see nobody's like eight moving. people. Wow, the, the song. Right so my right. live is still live, and I, I and I muted everybody, so I come over to your live, but I'm hearing fucking like seventeen people at once. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joey, you guys see it? Come over. Oh. Garcia, come over to my stuff so we can curse. <laughs> you know what? Well, when when it's over, when it's over. I'm not trying to, like, drag you over, but you're going to be at the fight, dude. Am I going to be at the fight? I don't dude? know. You're going to be there? Aren't you going to be there? We had this discussion, and I gave Gordon my information to give to you because you don't answer my uh Just my like, let me mute this. Let me mute. Oh, how do I mute a tab? I have no idea. If I mute the site. What's up, Melvin? Which one you want to mute? This one or the other one? She yeah, lost too many the people book. Where can she get another one? All right. Shoot, dude. I wish I could, like, figure this out so I can, like, mute mute everybody over there. I shut my camera down, but I can't shut their voices down. It's like a lot of voices coming through at once. My bad. My bad. Fuck, I tried, Garcia. Papa. No I tried, Dad. No problem, son. But we could have just, I don't even, at this point, I'll be back. I, don't even care. I probably All won't right. be back. He said, I probably won't be back. <laughs> what a son. What a son. Hey, Melvin, welcome. Welcome, Melvin. Now you see the pickle I was in earlier, right? <clears throat> Look at those guppies. Look at those guppies. Yeah, he's got, yeah, he got some fly ass guppies. It was uh, uh, the red dragons. I got, I got, I got, got some yellows. I got two red dragons, pink torcidos, blue Moscow's, the half blacks, and, and some other one. But they're all mixed. They're all mixed nonstop. And that's why I'm setting up this tape behind me. I just drop them all in here. But I'm going to get the plants. I'm telling June where she can find Joey's book. Nice. Wow. What are those red ones? Those, those are, are su super red uh, Cinepa, uh pencil fish. And you got fish I ain't never heard of.
I have uh, the blue lamp eye Congo Tetras in there. Uh, super blue carry Tetras. Raccoon Tetras. Um, the super red pencil fish. I have some gold laser quarries and three blue phantom plecos with some i think you can see the blue dream shrimp in there it's a 33 long i think i'm gonna take george's advice on my uh 20 long and make it a uh, plant tank do that and see how that turns out those raccoon touches eat all of the like people said there wasn't anything that eat hornwood well I found Tetras that do eat hornwort. A lot of these new Tetras I've been noticing eat the uh, hornwort straight up. Like those uh, blueberry wide-eye Tetras over there that I showed you first, they eat the hornwort. And these uh, those Tetras, those uh, raccoon Tetras in the background, they eat them too. Uh, you're, you're already turning you into a, a moderator, just to let you know. Oh, thank you. Hey, Berto, you going to slide over to that other place when you're done? I'm going to try. I, mean, I just got to figure out what I did wrong if I, if I can get back in. Oh, no. I can't walk you through it again, man. <laughs> he fat-fingered and he's old. Or just uh, uh, email me the, the link. I can do that. Email, email me the link and and we'll see if I can get through. Look at those guppies. All right, I'm going to roll over there and see if I can get you in. Just These are the uh, Israeli snakeskin koi guppies. Actually, let me see if I can find that link. And I have the... Uh, what do I got? Some, the uh, Asian rummy nose. I bred those in there. Everything in there was really growing out. It will not let me, Garcia. You know, I have a blue dream shrimp in there. There was a female. When I put this moss in there, there was only one shrimp, I guess, that was carrying on with this, uh, that came in with it. And she's been in here untouched by any males, never had any uh, babies. And she is probably the biggest cherry shrimp I've ever seen. She's definitely pushing an inch and a half. Wow. I wish I could find her. She's probably in this moss somewhere. Let me see. Oh, there she is. Look look how big this freaking shrimp is. If you see all that, could you see that? Yeah, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> Damn. That's a big shrimp. No, no, my, most of my takes, probably the only take off I can put shrimp is going to be with the guppies here. She's bigger than mostly all of the fish in there. Uh, but how much you saw those fishes there? If you don't mind me asking. The the uh koi guppies I saw them for thirty five a pair. Mm -hmm. The snakeskin koi's. Birdo, check your email. Yeah. Uh, let me open up another window. Let me know if it'll work. <laughs> right. Hagen Hill design, thank you. Yeah, when they don't, I feel like when they don't, uh, I mean, I've had, I've had female shrimp that have had eggs on them and were humongous, but I feel like if they haven't been touched at all, they get a chance to really grow. I don't know if I've subbed to Hagen's page or not.
I have. Never all mind. Right. All right, then it came through. All right. Did it work? It came through. So I'll I can't take hear that anybody minute. anymore. You hear all me? Right. I can hear you. I hear you. I love you, Garcia. You my dude. Hey Ross. Hey Ross, you still here, Ross? I don't think he can hear you. Ross. All right, All right Berto. I'll see you in a few. All righty. Thank you for having me, guys. I appreciate I being here. Anymore. Appreciate everybody in the chat. And as always, it's your hobby. Do it your way. I'm out. And guys, thank you for being part of the Garcia Aquatics. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And also hit that like button and that share button. And always turn on that notification bell to be notified when I'm dropping a video or when I'm going to go live. And guys, I'll see you guys to the next pop-up. And who knows when that will be. Oh, hold on one second. Hey, Ross. Yeah, sorry. That's all right, boss. That's all right. Um, yeah, phone call coming through. I won't be uh, shutting this down for, for the moment. Okay. But um, always remember this. I'm always going live on Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my email is Garcia Aquatics at gmail.com. You can email me anytime. And I want to stay in touch with you. And I want to bring you back to my live stream again. But we can do this very thorough. It's, All I'm right. Loving your fish. Thank and, you. we're gonna get, and we're going to get you more people to come and watch your channel. And also, for they can subscribe. And make sure, guys, always check. For Ross Baltimore. And where is the link again? Let me see. Where's the link? Where's the link? I'm going to find it real quick. Diego dropped it. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Guys, always check and make sure you got the notification bell turned on because you never know when he's going to be dropping a short or a video or when he's going to go live. Guys, go ahead and check out. Aquatic 87 Heaven and check his channel out. And I believe he has also a little website or something. But just leave your email and everything like that. If he can um for you can stay in touch with him and you know you want to get some of his fishes. And also he's on fishfam.link. You can find him there. And guys, check him out. And don't miss anything. Anything you want to say before we go? Yeah, if you guys saw anything that you like, uh, like you said, just click on one of the comments or and leave a comment, and I'll give you my uh, link to where you can speak to me on, like either my email or my Instagram messenger. So can't wait to really be uh, do a, a nice video with you so we can get to know each other. And thanks for welcoming me into the community like you guys have. And uh, I'll email you soon. No problem. You're going to be coming on to Garcia Aquatics. Please, Garcia Aquatics. He doesn't post when he's going to go up. He just goes ahead and goes live. And you know Garcia's not that technical in this. I just go live and that's it. And drop the link. And I have everybody always coming up. But we're going to have him come back. He's going to give us a tour of all his fishes, where he got. And as I want to redo this, any fish that you like, you can leave it in the chat, and he will tell you, and then he uh, will drop his uh, email, where you can email him, and you can get all the fish that you want. And then again, thank you for coming, and I'm sorry, but Garcia is going out of here, and I'll see you guys till the next time, and I love you all, and Garcia Aquatics, out. All right, thanks.